Check out the new Vladivostok Judo Club t-shirt from Gotch Fightwear. Only at gotchfightwear.com. I really like statues and sculptures in general. Monuments like these are an epic way to immortalize historically relevant individuals, events, or symbols. And for some cultures, their wrestlers are right at the top when it comes to relevance. It's said that wrestling, mankind's oldest combat sport, traces its origins back to the dawn of civilization. So, it's no surprise that many cultures have their own version of this glorious struggle. I love all forms of wrestling, but particularly submission wrestling arts, meaning grappling or wrestling disciplines where submission finishes are allowed. In today's video, submission wrestlers that have their own monument. Vasily Ashepkov. The father of Sambo is a true icon in Russia where several monuments have been built in his honor. This one is in Vladivostok, exactly next to the street where Ashepkov founded his first judo club. Vasily is receiving his black belt from the hands of the founder of judo, Jigoro Kano. You would think this is the most elaborate monument on the list, but it isn't. Most recently, on December 18, 2020, in Moscow, they unveiled this beautiful and highly detailed monument dedicated to the Fathers of Sambo, consisting of several individual statues. We have Viktor Spiridonov and Anatoly Karlampiv, who was a student of Oshepkov and, of course, Oshepkov himself. If you haven't watched my Father of Sambo series, please check it out. There are several other busts of Ashepkov in different locations across Russia. Carlson Gracie. On August 12, 2019, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, a statue of Carlson Gracie was unveiled. Here, we see Brazilian artist Edgar Juvivia sculpting the original clay model. According to MMAfighting.com, quote, the group started a crowdfunding campaign to gather money to pay Juvivia and the cost of the statue, around $20,000. Carlson Gracie, who passed away in 2006, was beloved by the masses because he broke some of the family's paradigms by opening the doors of his school to everyone with the will to learn. This man over here began to teach the common man over there. Rich, poor, black, white, no distinction for Carlson Gracie. That's the reason today we have the Statue. The only man with a statue in Brazil is Master Cassim Gracie. Ed Strangler Lewis. This is a sculpture of pro wrestler and catch wrestler Ed Lewis. The Hartford Daily Courant reads on January 20th, 1932. Ed Strangler Lewis, claimant to the World's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, viewed this clay model of himself with satisfaction. Alonzo Victor Lewis, Seattle Sculpture also seemed pleased with the work. I don't know if it was ever finished. If you happen to know, please leave it in the comments. Jigoro Kano. A famous statue of the founder of Judo stands proudly outside the Kodokan Judo Institute in Tokyo, Japan. There are other sculptures of Kano. For instance, the one shown in this photo with the caption, a descendant of the Japanese founder of Judo stands next to a life-size statue of Jigoro Kano at the Mikage Public Hall in Kobe. Frank Gotch Bicknell Park, formerly known as Riverside Park, was where Frank Gotch set camp to prepare for some of his matches. Now, it's the home of a monument built in his honor. The bronze statue of arguably the greatest grappler to ever live is eight foot tall and stands on a three foot tall pedestal. Bicknell Park and Frank Gotch Boulevard is one of Humboldt, Iowa's landmarks. Frank Gotch used to say, I was born an Iowa farm boy, I was raised an Iowa farm boy, and I'll die an Iowa farm boy. This quote was immortalized in his monument's plaque. Honorable mentions. These statues are not of submission wrestlers, but there are some cool ones I want to show you. Also in Iowa, in the University of Iowa to be precise, there's a statue of Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, Dan Gable. Some people say that Michael Jordan is the Dan Gable of basketball. Of course, Dan Gable is not a catch wrestler. However, it's worth pointing out he inherited an amateur wrestling style heavily influenced by catch wrestlers. Quote, In the film, Catch, 
the hold not taken, U.S. Olympic gold medalist Dan Gable talks of how he learned to wrestle as an amateur, the style known locally in Waterloo, Iowa, as catch as catch can. The wrestling tradition of Iowa is rooted in catch wrestling, as Farmer Burns and his student, Frank Gotch, are known as the grandfathers of wrestling in Iowa. Demol. This is an awesome statue of Mongolian wrestler Demol. He was born in 1935 and became a national hero for his competitive success in the East Asian country's traditional style of wrestling. This is not his only statue in Mongolia. Ivan Padubna. Born in 1871, Ivan Padubna was a legit professional wrestler from the Russian Empire and later the Soviet Union. As an amateur, he was a six times world champion in Greco-Roman wrestling. Some of his nicknames are the Champion of Champions, Ivan the Terrible, and the Russian Hercules. Here, we see Olympic gold medalist Alexander Karilin visiting a statue built in Padubna's honor in the Russian city of Yisk, commemorating the 140th anniversary of his birth. The monument includes some kettlebells, one of his preferred training tools. This is not the only statue of Padubna in Russia. I think there are a lot of parallels between Padubna and the Great Gamma. They are both revered in their respective regions, both allegedly undefeated, both heavyweights at 260 and 250 pounds. They were not catch wrestlers, but competed in some catch wrestling rules matches. Both clashed against Stanislaus Zabisco, and they are both contemporary, meaning they could have faced each other, but never did. I was actually surprised there is no statue of the Great Gamma. Hussein Pehlivan There is a statue in the city of Tekirda in Turkey of a Pehlivan wrestler named Hussein Alkaya, or Hussein Pehlivan, born in 1908. The word Pehlivan in Turkey refers to this traditional oil wrestling style and was also given in the past to wrestlers as a surname. It's important to mention that Turkey a country that holds its wrestlers in such high regard, is a world powerhouse in Olympic wrestling, with 29 gold medals to this day. I just wanted to let you know that one of my medium-term goals is to create two statues of catch wrestlers. I enjoy sculpting, and I have access to an artist who is remarkable at capturing likeness. I want to install one of Farmer Burns in the US, and one of Billy Riley in the UK. And with your support to the channel, I am sure this will be possible. This video was produced by DDoS and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.